hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna to be showing you these dip desserts uh frozen theme i just did a bunch in just one video um i'm gonna try and do it as fast as i can as i do have a lot of work so that's why i haven't been uploading due to a lot of custom orders thank god people are starting to order again well people are getting vaccinated so they're starting to do events i haven't had dessert tables in over a year like since covid hit i only got like two orders last year for it so um here we're starting off with the rice krispies like i did mention before i use 16 ounce deli cups and i use 32 ounce deli cups the easiest for these are going to be if you use the 32 ounces i did use theme paper uh straws i always like to use two designs that way it makes it pop um and not everything looks very bland as well as use different variety of colors i always ask two to three colors and if they want to add another color then it's an extra charge remember the more colors do you use the more time consuming it'll be so i suggest only doing two to three colors and charge extra if you're doing more as you know chocolate cools down you have to reheat you know it finishes you have to recreate the same color exactly because if not it'll look a little bit off so i'll leave everything down below in the description box where you can purchase everything uh here i'm starting off with the marshmallows and for these is the regular size not mini not the extra large and i personally like to add three per stick it looks fancier than just adding one adding one <laughs> makes it look kind of like cheap if you know what i mean i don't like it you can use a big extra large but i've never been fan of the look if you like it you know go ahead i personally don't so for these it's just going to be simple drizzle that's another thing you have to keep in mind obviously the more frames the more detail on top the more you're gonna have to charge so i always you know it's nice to know your client's budget um sometimes so tell me, you know, I'm kind of tight. So I always give them these options, drizzles and, sprin and sprinkles as my basic price, you know. So now we're going to do uh, the cake pops. Cake pops, I did them super simple uh, and I only use one color stick. So like I said, I will leave everything down below where I purchased everything. You can go ahead and use regular cake pop sticks, but on my price for cake pops, the starting price, I already added um, the straws. I personally now, I don't like using the other sticks. I feel like it always gives it a pop if you use these, so I just suggested to always uh, charge for this one. And I am using chocolate Merkins. I know in my Spanish version video, I forgot to say, but I do use Merkins. This one is the one I love. And I do use Color Mill. It doesn't change consistency, doesn't get an off taste. It works perfect with my chocolate. Now for the Oreos, I do use a plastic mold. I personally do not like the red molds. Um, they are way too thick. It is uncomfortable for your customer to eat. And plus, you're using so much chocolate and literally charging the same price as, you know, us that we use these plastic ones. So, but more than anything, just the taste and, you know, poor client, <laughs> they might break a tooth. So that's why I suggest only doing the plastic ones. So I just add a little bit of it in each single one and add your Oreo and, you know, let it sit. I pop them in the freezer for about five to ten minutes, no more, or they will crack. Like I said, I will be doing a course. They will be in Spanish and in English, and I will be sharing all my tips and tricks uh, with doing these. Um, in this video, I'm just showing kind of the designs. Uh, remember... You have to make sure you fill them all the way to the top. Don't do it too low or they'll be wobbly on the table. Don't do it too high or, you know, they'll still wobble uh, because they are uneven. I'll, give, I'll show you guys tricks on how, you know, to let your cookie sit and that way it doesn't float to the top because I know that can be very annoying. Uh, remember also gaps. That's another thing why I always 
uh, shake my container first get any air bubbles and make sure to center your cookie that way there's you know one it's not see-through and sometimes there's a little like gap in between and then your oreo is showing and then your oreo is going to get stale so we have to keep all that in mind so these treats i you can do them too or one week to two weeks in a in advance i personally don't have the time to do it so i have to do it at the moment because most likely i was working on you know previous orders um and after i am done with them i just place them in my box and store them there until the client picks up but do not pop these in the fridge after they personally came came out because it'll ruin your decoration they'll be a little bit sticky and we definitely don't want that as you can see i'm making sure each of them does not have a gap because like i said it will ruin it and i personally don't sell them if they come out like that because they will turn stale and always take off the excess at the top i know it's kind of messy but it's the only way to make them even sorry that's my daughter here i couldn't find my fondant um, mat so what i decided to do was you know just clean my surface roll it out and i'm using these stamps i also used a mold uh like i said everything will be done in the description box make sure to check before you message me um and you'll be able to find anything if i did mess anything leave it down in the description in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to add it onto there so when rolling out your fondant uh don't use powdered sugar and don't use yeah don't use powdered sugar i use com uh, cornstarch if you need it to be honest i rarely add it but if i do have to it'll be cornstarch so just to lift them up use a little spatula since they are a little bit delicate and i suggest doing fondant pieces a day before you're going to add them if you can two days so they're completely set and especially if you're going to paint them um with this luster dust then do it two days before so the first day they dry the second day you add less it does and they set and then you can add onto your rice krispies or wherever you're going to add them i know there's going to be a lot of questions hey are your pictures edible they are not edible um i do have the printer to make them edible but the thing was they were already going to have to take the frame off this is one thing people claim they're like well my luster does says it's edible yes it's edible but did you check if it was approved by the fda if it wasn't approved by the fda most likely there's something in there that doesn't make it 100 percent edible so i always tell my clients they are not edible people now are mad at life they try to sue you for the smallest thing ever so i rather cover my back like i said when i do the courses i will explain everything so you avoid getting sued because there's so much now um i'll go over prices and everything because let's say my rice crispy you know basic starts at 30 dollars but obviously adding more decoration it brings the price up so that'll be like 45 dollars like the picture like the ones i have here it's 45 dollars for it for the pretzels the only thing i can really tell you right now is just make sure they are all even i dip them all the way to the top i don't like leaving them halfway if you leave them halfway they look more unprofessional in my opinion and also there's some chocolates that do have a reaction uh, when you mix salt and um chocolate so that's why i like using markins and i've never had that issue right here my chocolate is very low i was too lazy to go make more color because that's the lot i wasn't going to need it anymore i do have a little bit more practice so i didn't really mess up if you are starting out make sure your chocolate is all the way to the top that way you can easily dip and you know it won't get messy for you so some i did place on the parchment paper i really don't like doing this at all anymore um but on some of them i did add sugar it is a sprinkle sugar it's not the regular sugar you have in your i don't know in your pantry to make cookies i oh my god i will leave it down below <laughs> and that way you can purchase it i love the look of it it just made it look kind of like snow um i just really liked it like i said it's always really nice to be able to work with your clients give him a decent price and still look um cute you know um fancy i guess that's the word 
so i did use eight frames eight sprinkles and eight of them like covered in sugar that way we can give them an affordable price my prices for berry suits are at 35 um, I will go over pricing. If you follow me back then in my Spanish video, you do know, Spanish YouTube channel, you do know that my prices have changed a bit since I started two years ago. I wouldn't really consider two years ago because last year I didn't have no practice doing these type of desserts. So it was more like baked stuff. So technically, I've only have a few months because, yeah. But the first year that I started, I had different pricings. Here, I'm just painting them. I used a Wilton little brush. That's the one I personally like to use. And my Lester does, I do mix it with lemon extract. Um, you can mix it with vodka if you like. I personally like using lemon extract. This one, they do say that you can use it without anything, but the color isn't as intense. That's why I prefer using um, the lemon extract to make it pop. So like I said, they will be wet. Um, so I like to leave these at least a good five hours so they're set and not as messy when applying to your desserts because if you get anything else, if you touch anything else with luster dust, it's gonna make it look dirty and I'm not that professional. So like I said, these are not edible. Um, so do you, I'll show you how I place them onto my desserts. That's why it's easier for the client. For these, I just drizzled and I added sprinkles. These sprinkles, I personally made them myself, so you won't be able to find them. At least not as for now. Um, I always suggest using a variety of colors. Don't just use purple and don't just do jimmies. Always do confetti pearls or something although pearls remember they are a bit harder to eat and can be uncomfortable for the client so i always like sticking to confetti and jimmies um, although there's a lot of things that i do like pearls for because they do make them look that much more elegant um, but so for these it was just jimmies and confetti variety of colors some are like paralyzed others are just normal and this is something you don't do I accidentally forgot but I don't put it on top because if the sprinkles fall in there if you're trying to use it for this piping bag afterwards to drizzle it's gonna you know it's gonna get stuck there and then it's gonna ruin your drizzle so always make sure to do it on top of the sprinkles here I have the berries like I said some are going to be drizzled and don't do everything drizzle also don't do everything plain or don't do everything with frames because it will make it look tacky it won't be as you know pleasing to the eye uh what's pleasing to the eye always having different textures different like drizzles um decorations on top not everything completely the same we all love a good drizzle but like especially for desserts tables is best i took a few courses so i know a lot of you know the eyeing of things and that's why i always suggest doing courses no i didn't only just take one course of cake pops i took three courses of cake pops plus i believe like four courses total of strawberries i just love seeing how everyone works and you know there's always something a little bit different this past time that i took a course i didn't learn that much anymore i don't want to say like oh i know it all but like that's a good thing that means you know i'm prepared and don't need to take any more courses maybe a few things that i will learn along the way afterwards yeah but i would say i'm set and just practice makes perfect i'm not where i want to be but definitely not where i used to be um man sometimes i go back and look at my work i'm like god damn how how did i do those ugly drizzles so if you're still working with wilton i don't know what you're doing step up the game um using real chocolate because remember wilton one so thick so hard and even adding all the oil in the world sometimes it would use to separate on me because there's so much oil that i would try thinging it out believe me it was just hard and sometimes i felt like giving up not knowing hey girl invest in your chocolate invest in good uh food coloring <laughs> so for these i just put a little bit of glue as the chocolate a little bit on the bottom and that's it i didn't put it on the top for the rice krispies i did put a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom it just helps um for the client to take it off don't put it over the whole frame or else you will stain the picture and more than anything it'll be harder for the client to take off and you definitely don't want that because it's not edible like i mentioned 
so that's just how it looks i hope you guys liked it um these i did package aside from the other desserts and i kind of want to show you a little bit of how i did that um you know sometimes don't just put all frames in one row or not all sprinkles in one row mix it up a little bit play with it while it's still in your wax paper these i leave come uh, i do them the night before like really late i don't know do it's the last thing you want to do at night time and i just leave them on there if anything was too um leak you know because of strawberries naturally leak so i prefer leaving them there but like I said, yes, just play around with it. This is what I came up with. I personally liked it like this best than just having everything in one row of the same design. Also, you never want to package them before. Um, the shredded paper is toxic, so if you know anything was to leak from the strawberry, it gets wet, and then the color will start coming off of the shredded paper, and that's toxic, and you can get sued. So you know what I mean? There's a lot of things. Um, and I wish I could share more. But like I say, in May, there will be a course. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. There will be lots of different um, videos for your own business. Bye.